this backpack has got to weigh at least seven pounds. Like, how ridiculous is it? Like, hey guys. So, um, today I'm going to be doing an updated high school must haves for you because. I got all my school supplies in and I did the um, the teacher day so I got all my supplies list in and everything that I need. So um, I did do a video like this already in my last video um, but it was more of like a really, it was like a really short segment. It was like what, two minutes worth of nothing. So today I'm going to be doing a updated back to school haul. Look, don't mind my fit for today. I got some Corona beer pajama pants on and some random shirt. These are my pajamas. But anyways, let me show you my backpack. So this is my backpack. I've had it since freshman year and holds everything. It has a zipper here, I mean a pocket here, a pocket here. This pocket has like four pockets inside the pocket. A pocket, the main pocket, another pocket right there. Another pocket right here. A pocket on the back. Another pocket right in here. Oh, okay. Another pocket right here. Wow, there's a lot of pockets in here, huh? There's two sides for cup holders. And it actually comes with a charging plug outlet right there as well. Um, it works, so you have to have a portable charger with you. So we're gonna start with this pocket right here. I keep, of course, my lip gloss because like my lips be chapped like right now. Let me put some lip gloss on. Mm. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> I look sick, bro. Like, look at me. I gotta take these braids out. Bitch, take out them box braids. She done had them bitches in for like a hundred days. I'm gonna take them out like Friday. Oh yeah, I start school on Thursday. This Thursday coming up, August 10th. Um, I know. I'm not excited. Bro, but like who starts school on a Thursday? That's so like random. I always keep like a couple good pencils, especially mechanical pencils. So it's like too old to be using regular pencils. Fun fact, like half these pencils here are actually found on the classroom floor. <laughs> yeah, one of those. This pocket, gum. You don't want to be the one to be asking around everybody, do you have gum, do you have gum? I'm still gonna do it when I run out. Probably still gonna do it when I don't run out, just so I can say some of mine. But um, bring gum, like it's always cool to have some, like if your stomach hurts or if you just need something to chew on. Cause like, I don't know, you get bored in class or you get hungry or something. Then I have some paper soap. So basically how this works, um, I don't know when you'll really use this, maybe like, say, I don't know, say you're outside at PE or something and you wanna, I don't know, wash your hands. <laughs> you just take one of these soap tablets and you put water on it and it scrubs and it like dissolves into soap and then you just rinse it off. I don't know, this is more like an impulse buy just to have it. Next up, I have ibuprofen. As you know, when them cramps get real bad, you nurse won't give you anything, so you just gotta have it on your own. And speaking of that, my girls always have like a little pocketbook too, full of all of your necessities, like your pads. Um, this is empty, so I need to throw that out. <laughs> some hand sanitizer, some contact lens or eye drops. I wear contacts in school, and oh my gosh, one time, um, I mean, I have to find a picture so I can show you, show it to you guys. But on um, one time in school, my contact had literally ripped into pieces. Like, I when I got home, there was like a piece up here, a piece down here. Where's the other half? Middle. And I did not, like, it didn't There's feel like it ripped like that, but it hurt really, really bad. And I went to a nurse, and, like, um, I didn't have a case to take it out, so she just gave me some saline rinse. It worked for, like, 30 minutes, and then it just hurt the rest of the day. But I didn't go home because, like, I wanted to thug it out. And I could have gotten a corneal abrasion, so don't do that. Don't do that. And then I have this random little pocketbook. Just, if I could open, okay, there you go. It just has some extra lip gloss in here. 
I don't really like these though because they're not sticky. I like sticky glosses. I might actually take those out. Um, but I have floss in here, some Aquaphor, a nail filer. You know how many times in school like my nail would break and nobody would have a filer? Yeah, just bring it out. Some more floss, um, some lip oil, empty perfume. Bro, mm, it smells good though, shoot. Anyways, now we're gonna move on to my main pocket. I'm actually gonna run through the list of my schedule so I know. Okay, here's a real memory test. Okay, so first period, I have journalism, which is the news team. Second period, I have geometry honors. Um, third period, I have world history honors. Fourth period, I have African American studies honors. Fifth period, I have dual enrollment English. And sixth period, I have chemistry honors. So, so that's gonna like get you a good idea why I have so much stuff in here. But um, because for dual enrollment, it's gonna like, uh, oh yeah, here's also a tip. Take dual enrollment. I suggest freshman year, but you can honestly take it any year. You could take it sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. But um, all you have to do is pass the per test. And what dual enrollment essentially does, it works you ahead. So that way, when you get to college, you don't have to take your all four years. You'll be finished for like two years when you take it in high school. And it pays for your college for you. So like, who doesn't want that? And it has many, many, many more benefits. I'm going to link my mom's podcast right there or in the description so you guys can, um, if you're interested, which you really should. AP classes are more of a waste of time than dual enrollment is. Dual enrollment classes are way better than AP classes. They're more beneficial and they're just easier to work through. But anyways, so what I have, this pencil case. Now, let me tell you, this pencil case has got me through sixth grade, through seventh grade, through eighth grade, and through ninth grade. And look at it, it's still good. I don't even know where this came from. What's it called? In style bag? This is off camera, but my cat is trying to get in here. Okay, but anyways, there's like a pocket right here. So in here, I have two glue sticks because like, you you will need glue for school. I mean like, or tape, one or two. I have an eraser. I have a pencil sharpener with an eraser. I have a whole bunch of fine tip pens. These weren't in my last video, um, but these are really good. Are these? Oh, they're different colors. How did I not know these were different colors? Well, oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, I have Sharpies. That's not a Sharpie. That's an Amazon Essential. Where's a Sharpie? Okay. I have a Sharpie right here. I mean, you always will need. I have about six Sharpies in here because I mean, you will always run out of ink on one of your Sharpies. That's just how Sharpies work. Okay. I have some colored pencils because all of my classes required colored pencils in the 10th grade. Don't know why. I barely used them last year. And I have some highlighters. Again, I, these were my last video as well, but they're window highlighters. So basically what that means when you're highlighting something, there's like a clear part right there. So when you highlight, like you can see what you're highlighting and they're double-sided. So there's a thin and a thick setting. Um, I, what was I gonna say? Oh, they come in different colors. They're like pastel colors. Okay, that's it for this pocket. So now for the main, main pocket. So I have this, I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's a five subject. It's huge. It has like, yeah, why'd the lighting do that? Okay, it's huge. It has so many like dividers in here. So this is for African American studies. I did not know we would need this much because it's only a semester class. So I was like, okay, but it's perfect. And you know what's cool? Like I didn't know five stars started doing this, but they have barcodes in the corner of the um, pages. So when you like, there's like an app now, so you could scan your um, you could scan your pages and it'll save to your like your um, I think it's your um google drive will save to your google drive so that way like you if you lose your notes on accident they're like in there which is like really cool so i love that i have another five star five subject notebook i believe this will be for math i don't know i don't know i got my schedule switched around like 10 different times and 
um, after open house. So I don't know what my new teachers will require. This was also in my last video. I got it for my day Ross. It's just a cute, I wanted to be stylish, but now the rest of my notebooks don't line up. But look at how cute, like there's oranges, there's lemons, strawberries. Ooh, ooh, orange. Oh, more oranges, whatever you call it. Um, I have perfume in my main pocket. It's called, it's Guest, Seductive Noir. Let me smell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this smells really good. I never used this before. Like, I bought it to put in my backpack. And, oh, yeah, there's more pockets in my backpack that I just found out the other day. You can't even see. Hold on. They're, like, inside cup holder pockets, but they're, like, really cool. But, um, anyways, let's move on. Oh, wait. I forgot this pocket right here. And this pocket right here is a calculator. I have to get a new one, though, because this isn't a scientific one. I don't know what type of calculator this is, but get a calculator, you're gonna need one. Now let's move to the pocket on the back. So now we're at the pocket on the back. So in this pocket, I have a clipboard. I should I bought this for, I think seventh grade and I never really used it. I should have used it um, last year a lot though because like I didn't realize how much you'd be walking around the class with a paper going to stations in the 10th grade, ninth grade. But um, you're gonna need a, um, probably a clipboard so your work doesn't get wrinkled or you can just use a notebook, whatever it works. I got this notebook, probably won't need it. I was just gonna use it for journalism for if I had any ideas for the news show on ruler. Um, a protractor would probably be better, but I mean, I don't have one and I didn't even use one last year either, so I'm not gonna stress too much about that. And plus a lot of teachers provide you with one anyway, so you don't really need to stress about that, unless you just wanna have your own. Now let's move to this pocket right here. So this pocket right here, it's actually pretty deep, like look. But in this pocket, I hold my headphones in here. These headphones are cool, they come with like an adapter because I'm going to use this for school computers and stuff, but you can also use them for your iPhone. Um, also, I have like a mini mic for like school interviews. It doesn't even work, so I don't know why I still have that. I have a charger, of course, because you're going to need one. This is for the charging station on my backpack, but I don't use it because I have my own charger again. Was that really all the pockets? Dang. Oh, okay, so it was. So the last thing I'm gonna say that you're gonna need is a water bottle. It's a 32 ounce hydro flask. Like, it holds a lot. Sometimes I'd be finishing this whole water bottle. And I live in Florida and it's like really, really, really hot year round. So, and I walk home sometimes and I have track practice in um, January. So bring a water bottle, you're gonna need it. Cause nobody wants to drink those water fountain waters. Like, I'm gonna try and buy a locker this year because um, my bag is really heavy and um, I still need binders. That is really all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna try and do some back to school vlogs, but um, my school changed their cell phone policy and AirPod policy to where like you're not allowed to use your phone other than in the hallways, switching in between periods. Like everything I know is online. Like our homework is online, everything was like, they're so hypocritical. <coughs> my fault, y'all. I'm chewing gum and I choked on my spit or something. I'll see you guys again next time. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day. And I hope you have an amazing new school year too for those starting up soon. Peace.